Hello everyone, welcome back. So let's begin. First of all, what is this backend automation testing? Right? Why like is it expected from SDETs? Right? So SDETs, you know, they cover pretty much everything. Okay. So you know, what are the expectations from a SDET? Like he is expected that he might be having the knowledge of API. How we can test API? How we can test databases and what are the various functionalities of the server right so that they are working correctly and uh, you know in backend testing is unlike you know in the ui we only test the front end testing right which focuses on how the user is interacting with the application but backend you know it verifies the logic of the working of the application like how the application is picking up the data processing that data and how the various systems are integrated with each other so whatever thing is not covered in the ui testing or front end testing that everything comes under back end testing okay so why you know people want us to do the back end testing why it since uh, like you know coming into picture more and more you know so nowadays most of the projects they are following the agile methodology so it is very you know faster as compared to the previous uh, method methodologies and uh, you know they, we need to test more and more on daily basis like monthly basis when the regression is happening so thus so we need a more faster system we, we need to test more recently and we want to spend very less time and uh, you know we need the quick results so that without spending much effort so whatever we can cover like 70 percent of the testing i can say that we can cover by testing the backend testing and nowadays people you know they are spending very much less time on front end testing so that's why that is the reason like that is the main reason we are they are asking to test the rest apis okay and uh, but there are different types of backend testing right so the very first one is database testing you know everything is stored in a database or schemas tables procedures right so database testers they need to verify those like the proper data is stored properly they are able to retrieve the data crude operations like create retrieve update and delete right everything is working properly on the db side so the tools they are using is sql and db unit mainly these are just for example there are many more tools available in the market and then comes into picture performance testing so when i am you know sending any response to the database how much time that's taking me like it's giving me that it's responding back it's it should not happen that it taking a lot of time and user you know he gets irritated and he is frustrated there is no point in that kind of thing so that thing is done by under performance testing and main parts are load and stress right we are familiar and the tools which are mainly used in market are jmeter and load runner okay and then comes into picture security testing see our database is set up performance is working fine but it should not happen you know that it's vulnerable you might have listened of many scams happening right now in the market so you know data gets leaked all those vulnerabilities data protection and security is covered under security testing then comes into picture integration testing so you know our systems they are very huge different different backend services components they are integrated with each other for the working of our system so there comes into picture the integration testing that the outputs of one may be the input for the second one so they need to check that they are properly coupled with each other right and uh, then the next one is data migration testing suppose you know nowadays most of the data is migrated to cloud right so after the migration is done from one system to another system the data should be well integrated it should be precise like there shouldn't be any mismatches right so the last one which is you know very famous nowadays which is trending is api testing first of all what is api why do we need this api testing so api stands for application program interface so you can say in the basic language that when a way when two computers talk or interact to each other that is called a api it's their way of talking to each other right 
and the most famous and most common these days which is used for mobile as well as web applications is rest which stands for representational state transfer okay so if i am talking about examples like mainly where it is used is most famous is google maps and google drive then you know twitter uh, is also using uh, in some of its uh, uh, parts then github api it's very common these days right so then spotify youtube data api that's also using the rest at the back end so if we you know in a simple diagram our systems like they are sending the request to rest rest is something which is standing between the db and our ui right so various logics are applied it follows http protocol like the set of rules it's following like which is recognized at a word level is http and data is sent in form of json objects and received back right so you can say that api is set of rules and protocols that allow different software applications to communicate with each other right this is a definition but in basic language i have already explained you so this is the way like different computers interact with one another they interact with db and there comes into picture one layer right apis are layer you can say of security of uh, you know uh, integration everything is done here at the rest okay so other than that like what are the uses of rest in basic language i can explain is like suppose you are going to book a hotel right and uh, if you talk about of any hotel chains let's take an example of marriott right so what they will be doing is they will they need to or you can take the example of similarly is for the airlines right air canada needs to share its data with various sites right mintra and uh, google and many different sites are there how they will know like what is present in the, their database they will not give the direct access right, access right they will provide some apis right some rules set of procedures and rules so that those sites can also increase their business if you know it will be available on google it will be available on different sites right so that it can reach to more users right so mostly you might have seen that we do not go to their original site for booking hotels wherever we are getting the best deals we go there right and uh, that's what where rest comes into picture right and uh, different systems you know they can integrate with each other right services and applications that's like what an api is so we have covered pretty much everything and uh, from next lecture onwards we will be explaining more in detail about rest api and uh, i will be sharing this document in each and every video right under the description so that you can copy it and they can help you in your learning they, this will act as a learning material yeah Thank you. See you in next lecture.